So you finally decided to take a stab at this whole video thing. It's pretty popular and you know your brand can use some valuable video content. There's just one problem. You've never actually been on camera before. Or maybe the thought of presenting to a potentially massive audience makes you feel a little uneasy. Take a few deep breaths. We know the first few times you're on camera can be a little scary. In this video, we're going to give you some best tips and best practices for how to be comfortable on camera. Don't worry, you don't need to be the next big movie star or anything, unless that's really what you want to do. One of the main objections we face about people being on camera is that they don't like the sound of their own voice. When this happens, we assure our clients that everything is totally fine and that they sound normal. We actually hear our own voices two different ways. According to the BBC, your first way is by sounds hitting your eardrums. The second way is by vibrations inside your skull caused by your vocal cords. As these vibrations travel through your bones, the sound you end up hearing gives you a false sense of bass. Why? Having to travel through your bones causes these vibrations to spread out and become altered. When you start to talk, the sound you hear is at a slightly lower pitch because of the vibrations coming from inside your head. When you hear your voice on a recording, you're picking up the vibrations the way other people do. To everyone else, you sound totally natural. But to yourself, you sound a little more high-pitched. The TLDR here is that there's no need to worry because your voice sounds fine. So when it comes to being comfortable on camera, the first point is about not breaking your normal and daily routine. If it's your first time recording a video and you're not comfortable on camera, walking into a studio or onto set can be a little intimidating. Before you get there, make sure to go about your business as usual. Don't skip breakfast, drink your cup of coffee, remember to brush your teeth, take a shower like a normal person, feed your dog, put on your shoes. Do you get where I'm going with this? The takeaway with this tip is that you want to be as comfortable and relaxed as possible. The camera won't bite you, nor will the production crew. And if you're shooting a video by yourself, then that's just less people to worry about. One thing to note here, try not to overdo it with makeup. Now if applying makeup is a part of your normal routine, then keep doing that. Depending on your scale of the video shoot, you may or may not have a makeup artist on set. If you do, their main objective should be just to smooth things out. For those without a makeup department, just give yourself a look in the mirror before shooting. You can even use those oil absorbing pads if your skin's looking a little oily that day. Our second tip is to know that your body language is important. Your body language can have a great impact on how a conversation turns out. If you slouch or break eye contact, it can signify that you may not be interested. Conversely, if you stand up straight and maintain eye contact, it helps to show that you care about what's actually being said. You can take this and apply it to your on-camera presence. Do your best to maintain eye contact with the camera and try to stand up straight. So natural movement is totally fine. However, avoid swaying back and forth and bouncing up and down. Too much movement in your shot can cause your audience to feel a little uneasy. Our next tip is to remember that being on camera for a video is almost like having just a real conversation with someone. Let's say you're the subject of a testimonial or talking head video that's being produced. These videos are generally easy to create and what you'll be doing is talking about some aspect of your business. And guess what? You already do this on a daily basis. Ignore the camera, microphone, and lights for a second. When you're doing your job, you most likely can talk about the various aspects of your business for days. If you're having a conversation with someone, things tend to flow naturally. Treat being on camera just like you would any other conversation throughout the day. The camera might not be able to speak, but talk to the camera about your business like you would anyone else. It's totally fine to use something like a teleprompter or having talking points you'd like to cover. Most people who are comfortable on camera do these things already. Don't try to speak in a way you don't normally do. Don't force yourself to say things you don't normally say. You may not be perfect the first time, but it's totally fine. A few read-throughs won't hurt anybody. Lastly, be aware of the fact that the camera crew is there to help you. Whether you hired a production company or have a few people internally helping out, the overall goal should be to make you look as best as you can. Lying is bad, don't do that. Oftentimes when recording, we will make sure the talent or person on camera is as comfortable as possible. We do that by making sure they look as polished as they can be. No straight hairs, no mustard stains on their shirts, no veggie in their teeth, things like that. The crew is there to ensure that the best video product can be created. And there you have it, some of our best tips for being comfortable on camera. Practice makes perfect. Not everyone has media training and not everyone wants to be on camera. You're a human being and that's totally fine. However, when you do have to be on camera for a marketing video, it's not the end of the world. Just relax and be natural. The crew is there to help you. It's their job to ensure that you look the best and sound the best that you can. We hope these tips were useful to you. Let us know in the comments down below if you have any other tips for being comfortable on camera. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to see all of our future videos on video marketing. I'm Dave with Nickel City Graphics. Thanks again for watching.